penis. There are many things that one has to take into account when preparing for a show. Timing, penis, physical stamina, choreography, and most importantly, glamour. Welcome friends to another year of Makeup for Harpists. before I've just washed my hair and I'm gonna put in a little bit of Frizzy's John Freda just like a little pump of that warm it up and then just work it through setting lotion and it's just the cheap super drug setting lotion and I put it in like a little oil sp spritzer thing you know for like cooking oil and it works really well just disperse it a little bit so now I'm doing now that I've got all that product in there I'm just pin curling it and I take a little this is a just a powder brush that's a good size and I like to use that instead of trying to like do it around my hand or whatever because then it means that I have multiple hands free and I'm just doing like little sections it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect or whatever. It can just be kind of, as long as everything's kind of in the same neighborhood, you're usually okay. Okay, now we're on the back. I sleep on my back. So I try and keep kind of this area clear of pins so that it doesn't irritate me in the middle of the night. So everything I'm doing, I'm kind of doing bigger sections and I'm doing them off to the side of the face. And then I'm pinning them twice. So I'm doing one, one pin goes in, going one way, and then a second pin is going in, going the other way. And you just repeat that. And then I'll usually try and pin things high if they're right in the middle. So now I have it all done and the back of my head where my little head meets the little pillow is um, is free of pins. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with taking all the hair out um, and putting them back in the box because everything does go back in the tiny little jars. I think the worst thing about having to do these makeup tutorials is you have to do them in like silence. You know, I can't have like music blasting in the background and usually I'm watching the Muppets while I get ready. And if you ever have to get ready for an event, I would always recommend watching an episode of the original series of The Muppets. Because you will be in such a good mood by the end of it. Ugh, you'll be in such a good mood. These ones that are like pin pins, they kind of get stuck quite a lot, a lot, a lot more easily than just regular bobby pins. So I would just use regular bobby pins. Uh, then I'm just gonna try and like tease it all out and then we'll just let it sit and calm down for the makeup portion of this morning. It is 9 a.m. Give it a quick little brush. This is not going well. There we go, that side did really well. And then just run it through the back. Okay, let's start with the face. So I am starting with the most expensive primer I have ever bought. This is the MAC Prime Prep. Was it, I think, 30 pounds, 32 pounds or something nuts? Yes. Do I notice a significant difference between this and other primers I have used? A little bit, a little bit. And that's makeup. Okay, now that we've done that, let's start with an easy peasy base. I'm doing light colors first and then I'll do the darker colors for the contour and blend into 
the light because I find that when you're using a liquid, um, it just, it's tending to do much better if you can blend it light, dark into light rather than light into dark. Okay. Oh, I wet my beauty blender this year, so enjoy that. We are still using this Berry M, just for that section. And now I'm gonna find my darker colors. Oh, what was this? Whoop! Just sticking more things on my face. So this one is a little different this year. Doing it quickly. Um, doing it quickly, trying to minimize the amount of actual orange I seem to be doing on my face. And I might go back in with this to just crispen up the underneath. Fun, other side. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just gonna go over the top with the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in P, no, in 1.1P. Um, this is because um, I'm not using my Studio Fix for, for this because this doesn't have to go anywhere. This doesn't have to travel. I don't have to perform in it. I'm saving the expensive stuff for the stage. Throw some powder on top of it. This is um, a terrible one that was very cheap, but you have to use it. We're not throwing away things that are half opened. Not in this economy, at least. Let's just stick on some eyebrows. Gorgeous. Go and you're ready to leave the house. Um, okay, let's do eyes. Eyes are gonna be the most time consuming section of this. Well, they always are the most time consuming section of this tutorial every year. This year, I'm doing three palettes, two palettes. Hazelnut cream, and then the peach. This one is mini tasty peach. Do they smell, uh, kind of, I don't know. They smell mostly of Play-Doh. So I'm just going into doing the, a little, a little base to blend into everything. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into just the darker, darker colors, tap off the excess and just try and like, work it into the crease very gently, very delicately. It doesn't have to be particularly accurate. You're just trying to get a nice smooth blend out. Lovely. And then I'm gonna go in with the white from here again. Can you tell my winter depression is just violently active this year? Honestly, thriving. Now we go into the d the difficult part, which is trying to get this palette that I dropped on the floor to behave in a way that everyone is happy about. So I'm going to take my little my little brush. I'm going to try my best, and I'm just going to start with the light, and then I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do that one. Or probably not even that way around. Gorgeous. And then just try and marry the colors together a little bit more. And then we just take our little blending and just blend up the top. Now for the winged eyeliner. Perfect, okay. So this is the benefit roller liner, the eyeliner that my older brother and sister-in-law got me for Christmas last year. And honestly, pretty amazing, pretty good, would recommend. Um, And now we move on to glitter. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I'm doing something wildly difficult and utterly extravagant this year for this show because I think it's, um, because I have the time and I think it's like, it's fun. Question mark, question mark. So I have these glam crystals from Collection 2000 that I used to use for my show. Um, glitter Chat. In today's modern society, I would not be buying glitter. 
um, just because it is just plastic. Like that's its whole, that's its whole deal is that it is literally just plastic. So I'm, you know, I'm just using up the glitter I have and then I'm never buying glitter again, she says. So I'm taking a really sharp eyeliner brush and I am just going into the top of that, just on top of that eyeliner. Grab something that'll hopefully catch the glitter that'll fall right down onto my face. Um, and we'll go in with this teeny tiny brush. These are also from my brother and sister-in-law. There's gonna be glitter everywhere now. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now we do the other side. Done. Let's do a lash. I'm using these ones, thanks the BBC again. Um, and I am just using the ends, um, which I think is fun. I think it's fun. I'm just like using the little cut off ends because I, you know, I don't know. Because I've reached rock bottom. I'm gonna just, um, put something underneath my lashes. I can't believe I missed that. I'm gonna just, yeah, to do something on the bottom here. Just try and get a little bit more balance back into the eye. That's better. Put some black on the waterline. There we go. And then just a little bit in the on the outside corner. Do, 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 do. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Okay, I'm taking this teeny tiny one again. I'm trying to figure out where I put my glue and then I'm just gluing the ends of these. Just gluing the ends of these. I'm going for like a more natural lash these days because my face is so much smaller than it once was. I used to have such incredible volume. I think I should address the elephant in the room while I um, do this. Last year's makeup tutorial, bad. It was awful. I look terrible. Um, this year's hopefully will be a small improvement. Don't hold me to it though, but with any luck, you know, with any luck, I'll look slightly better than I did last year. Oh! Slot the lash on the end. Why not? Why not? <sighs> okay, let's go in with a little bit of this powder contour again. Um, and this wonderful brush that my mommy got me a very long time ago. I really like abused this middle color. When it comes to a tick contour, I'm mainly focusing on collarbones and then like a little bit of, a little bit of zhuzh here and that's about it. So we'll just do underneath collarbones. Ooh, there's a red mark there. I wonder what that's from. Just underneath and then on top and try and even out where my body is incredibly uneven due to years of performing at the harp. And then this is a little, just like a little, a little something. Just doing a blush, just going in. Try and, um, get it good so you don't look too silly. Let's do a lip and then I think a highlight and we're done, you know? Highlight and then we are done. So what I'm aiming for nowadays with a lip is to try and do a little bit more of a curve, like a high curve on these sections and have it come in. Like a little bit of like over under. Beautiful, and then I'm gonna do what I think is commonly known as the Sarah Palin, which is where you do a lip liner and then you do a Vaseline over the lip liner. Let's do a fun gloss. This is a, this is a plumping gloss that I'm just gonna put on the top, just as fun. Okay, great. When you have wonderful friends, 
you'll occasionally get really good Christmas presents. And my dear sweet friend Crash got me the kimchi, the unboring highlight palette. Um, and I'm just gonna go into the, the pink, cause I like the pink and the little white and just try and get a little bit of, get a little bit of that on my cheeks and on my nose, cute. And then just top of the lip. And then I'm just gonna go into these and just highlight the, the collarbone a little bit. I'm gonna go wash off all the gunk from my hands and then we will finish hair and then we'll be done. And now we move on to hair, which I think has been the biggest change from previous years, um, mainly because of the sheer amount of products I now put in it. Um, so last year we were doing like just a simple rag curl with little bits of fabric that I had and I sewed them into little like finger sockets things, Sing finger socket things. Sure, why not? Um, little scraps of fabric and I'd sewn them into little kind of pocket things. And now we're doing kind of a classic pin curl. So on a very good day, on a very good day, I preface this by saying on a very good day, it will come out as beautiful Golden Age of Hollywood like waves. On a not so good day, it'll come out as like, you know, fluffy. This is pomade. I'm gonna put some pomade in my hair so you have to like bring your hair. I like to slap my little hands together and then just rub them to warm up the product and then you just work it through. Oh, make sure it's nice and warm. Brush and brush and brush and brush and brush. But alternatively, you can just leave it at this. This is not, this isn't terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it isn't terrible. At a certain point, you just want to call it quits and give up. And that's when you know you're done. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, now I'm gonna just take some hairspray. This is garbage. I'm gonna finish up and put on my little costume. Um, one of six for this show, and then um, I'll be right back. And there we are, done. Um, this is a this is such a harp costume because it has all the bedazzling on one side, and then this side is like fine. <laughs> um, there we go. Please come to the show. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Yet another year of. Makeup for Harpists. Hopefully uh, next year will be better.